you've started learning long before you can remember. You were nurtured, championed, driven by the expertise of those around you. And soon the things you were good at became the things you're great at. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. All your life, you've had it in you. A burning desire to know more, to do more, to be more. You've never been one to settle because every lesson learned has provided a proven result. You, you were born to learn and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. Learning is a part of who you are. It always starts with a question. Is there a better route just beyond the expected? How do you pilot your own success? You take apart the world around you, examine it, and put it back together again. Your way. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. 
Move forward at csuglobal.edu. You started learning long before you can remember. You were nurtured, championed, driven by the expertise of those around you. And soon the things you were good at became the things you're great at. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. it in you, a burning desire to know more, to do more, to be more. You've never been one to settle, because every lesson learned has provided a proven result. You. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu.
part of who you are. It always starts with a question. Is there a better route just beyond the expected? How do you pilot your own success? You take apart the world around you, examine it, and put it back together again. Your way. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. started learning long before you can remember. You were nurtured, championed, driven by the expertise of those around you. And soon the things you were good at became the things you're great at. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. All your life, you've had it in you. A burning desire to know more, to do more, to be more. You've never been one to settle because every lesson learned has provided a proven result. You, you were born to learn and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu.
Everything is a part of who you are. It always starts with a question. Is there a better route just beyond the expected? How do you pilot your own success? You take apart the world around you, examine it, and put it back together again. Your way. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. You started learning long before you can remember. You were nurtured, championed, driven by the expertise of those around you. And soon the things you were good at became the things you're great at. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. All your life, you've had it in you. A burning desire to know more, to do more, to be more. You've never been one to settle because every lesson learned has provided a proven result. You, you were born to learn and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu.
Learning is a part of who you are. It always starts with a question. Is there a better route just beyond the expected? How do you pilot your own success? You take apart the world around you, examine it, and put it back together again. Your way. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu. You started learning long before you can remember. You were nurtured, championed, driven by the expertise of those around you. And soon the things you were good at became the things you're great at. You were born to learn, and we were born to help you. Move forward at csuglobal.edu.
The CSU Global Graduate is unique. They've overcome obstacles and have balanced work, family, and education to achieve impressive academic goals, all while never setting foot in a lecture hall. Online education has allowed tens of thousands of students to chart their own path and customize a learning experience that sets them up for success. CSU Global was founded in 2007 with a mission to help adult learners. Today, we are leaders in the space of online learning with customizable bachelor's, master's, and certificate programs for modern learners at any stage in their journey. Every day, we strive to make higher education accessible and are proud to serve a diverse worldwide community of modern learners. Our students are from all US states and territories and reside in more than 60 countries around the world. CSU Global Curriculum is collaboratively created and continually evaluated by respected and experienced industry leaders. Our instructors have the highest degrees available in their fields, backed by real-world industry experience. We build each program with our students' careers in mind, ensuring that their education and the tools they use in the classroom are always aligned with the most current trends and market demands. We are proud to offer top rank programs focused on practical workplace skills and real-world outcomes. We support students throughout their academic journey, offering live tutoring to 24-hour, seven-day-a-week access to technical support and library assistance. We also provide writing support and comprehensive career services. Commencement is a vibrant and joyous celebration of professional accomplishment. CSU Global graduates are fully prepared to move forward in their professional lives. They've earned the credentials and learned the skills necessary to reach their goals. And they are motivated to tackle the challenges of tomorrow's workforce with organization, agility, and tenacity. Through today's live stream virtual commencement ceremony, we are excited to celebrate the milestone achievement with all graduates and their families in real time from around the world. Good morning and welcome to Colorado State University Global's 2020 Winter Virtual Commencement Ceremony. I'm Andy Dixon, the AVP of Marketing Engagement at the University, and we are delighted to have you joining us with us today. It is my distinct pleasure to serve as our Master of Ceremonies today as we broadcast live from Denver, Colorado. We are truly excited to celebrate your incredible accomplishments in spite of the unprecedented challenges that all have been facing throughout this global pandemic of COVID-19. Luckily, CSU Global's established tradition of offering a fully virtual commencement ceremony has prepared us to live stream your accomplishments today as scheduled. As a 100% online state university dedicated to ensuring the education is personalized and your success and fits into your busy lives, we are excited to celebrate our graduating Golden Eagles wherever you and your loved ones are joining from today. Class of 2020, you have long anticipated this day and we welcome you, your loved ones, your friends, and all of the CSU Global staff and faculty. Today, we celebrate you, your hard work, your determination, and of course, your achievements. Let me begin today by explaining how you as graduates, family, and friends can engage with us and each other throughout the ceremony. All of this information is available online, and we will also post the links to any in the comment section now. To participate in the live chat, you must have a Google or YouTube account, and once you're signed in, you'll be able to comment directly into the chat feed located at the right of your live stream. If you experience technical difficulties, please post them in that chat section for our support staff to troubleshoot any issues with you. Moderators are also be standing by to answer any questions. Feel free to introduce yourselves there and chat and use the space to get to know each other. Congratulations messages are of course encouraged. We encourage you to also join the conversation and congratulate your graduates and each other on social media using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads2020 and tag at CSUGlobal. We especially want you to share pictures of who you're viewing with and where you're viewing from, since we have students from all over the US and globally joining us today. The entire commencement ceremony will be available to view shortly after our broadcast concludes. And to receive a notification on when this video and others become available, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button under the video. 
While we do encourage you to engage throughout the ceremony, we ask that you remain respectful and appropriate, and we reserve the right to remove anything not in the spirit of the ceremony. If you'd like to download a copy of the program that has a list of all of our graduates' names today, you can find a link at csuglobal.edu slash commencement, and it's at the bottom of the page. Printed programs will also be available for order between now and December 31st. The link to the form has just been posted in the chat section. So let's officially start our ceremony now with how we would start any ceremony, with the singing of the national anthem. Today's rendition will be performed by Laureen Ann Carrion, a CSU Global 2020 graduate. She's earning her bachelor's degree in human resource management today, and she's willing to share her unique talents and wonderful rendition with us this morning. Please rise now for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land That was beautiful. Thank you, Lorraine. To celebrate with our global community, we've also arranged for a few short live look-ins with our graduates from around the country. We're gonna first check in with Shauna Cobb and Liz Ruggles. Shauna and Liz, welcome. Hi. Hi. Hi, thanks for joining Hi. us today and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to start by just kind of asking you what motivated you to get your degree and what do you hope to accomplish with it? Liz, why don't you go first? Um, okay, um, well, um, I chose CSU Global um, because I didn't have a lot of options in Austin, where I'm at, for uh, working adults to finish their college degree after community college. Um, so I looked for an online option, and um, I wanted to make sure it was accredited, and that they had a, a, um, an accounting program, and CSU Global had both of those things, and um, it's also affordable and flexible, so it's great for working adults. That's excellent. I'm glad it worked out for you. How about you, Shauna? Yes. So I am also full time. I work full time. My son goes to school full time. And so I needed the flexibility of an online school. Um, additionally, I conducted research and I discovered that CSU Global is ranked nationally in the top 15 for best online bachelor's degree programs. So that really got me going. Great. And what is your degree in? I forget. Human resource management. Human resource management. That's right. Thank you again for reminding me. Could you maybe share a proud moment uh, or a story of, of something that happened along your way at CSU Global, Shauna? Uh, yes. Yeah. So I think that my proudest moment was finishing my capstone class because it gave me the opportunity to demonstrate all that I had learned throughout my um, educational career. Um, it was a 22-page capstone project. So I was very proud of myself when I completed that. Yeah, and, and at that point, you know you're done. So congratulations. That yeah. always feels good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about you, Liz? Um, 
I think one of my proudest moments uh, was um, when I was hired on in my current position um, as an accounting analyst. It's kind of like a dream job. It marries the accounting and uh, like data analytics um, and more of the business intelligence side of things. Um, and I don't think I would have been able to get that job had I not had the schooling that I've gotten here at CSU Global. That's amazing. Well, congratulations. And that, you know, future Thanks. of accounting is, is so there with the data and stuff. So, so congratulations. Mm -hmm. What about you, Shauna? What's you. next? Transitioning into human resource management, um, now that I have my degree, it's opened up doors that would have otherwise been closed to me. The degree is very important for that, so it definitely helps you get you on your way to that next step. So, yes. <laughs> well, before I let you guys go and enjoy the rest of the ceremony, I just want to quickly ask who you'd like to thank that helped you get here along the way and, and uh, call out anyone you specifically helped you. Uh, Shauna, why don't you go first? Yes, I would like to thank my friends and my family for getting me through um, this process. Taking two to three classes at a time can be very overwhelming. So having them as my cheerleaders and motivating me definitely led to my success. So I would like to thank each and every one of them, especially my mom. She's my go-to when I'm breaking down. <laughs> Moms usually are. So thank you to your, your support network. And Liz, you? Um, I also wanna thank my family. Um, I wanna thank my friends. Um, I have two very special uh, colleagues as well, Vitria Sunoko and Wan Zhang. Um, they're all very supportive and any small or big push I got was from them and I don't think I could have finished it without everybody's help um, and, and encouragement. Um, I'd like to thank my advisors, Jenny and Anderson for ask, answering all my weird questions because I had a lot. Um, and I wanna thank my teachers and my classmates. It was just a very enriching experience, and um, I, don't, I couldn't have asked for a better time. That's amazing. Well, I'm so glad it worked out. Again, you guys should be so, so proud of your accomplishments, but um, it's good to be reminded that we can't do this alone. So thank you again to all the CSU Global staff and faculty who helped all of our graduates get here today, too. So uh, thank you both for joining us. I'll let you get back to enjoying watching the rest of the ceremony. So thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Great to hear directly from our graduates through this event. Um, so thank you for sharing this celebration with us. And now it's my distinct honor and privilege to introduce the CSU Global President, Pamela Tony. Welcome, Pam. Good morning. I'm Pamela Tony, President of CSU Global. It is wonderful to be here with you today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. I'm saddened that we're still not able to be here in person, but that does not take away from the immense pride I have in all of you. Today's ceremony is truly global. Our university has students that reside in every U.S. state and territory and 60 countries, and today we have graduates participating from around the world. We are so pleased to recognize our graduates, and we express our thanks to the friends, family, and CSU Global stakeholders who have supported and encouraged our graduates' success. I'd like to thank the Colorado State University System and the Board of Governors for their acknowledgement of the excellence that we strive for at CSU Global, and for their continued support in providing high-quality, career-relevant, and affordable education for today's modern learner. Thank you to CSU Global staff and faculty for their continued support and hard work. They work tirelessly to help our students achieve their goals. I would now like to recognize our veterans, active military, and their family members. We thank you for your dedicated service to our country. We are deeply grateful for your sacrifices. Now, we are pleased to share a number of videos from our graduates that we will show you. I encourage you to use the live chat box in the right of your screen and to take this opportunity to thank those who have supported you during your journey. I wanna say thank you first and foremost to my husband. Handsome, I love you, I couldn't have done this without you. I want to thank my family, especially my nieces. Thank you for understanding when I was unable to go to parties or have to leave early. And especially thank you to my two sisters. I wouldn't be here without you. 
thank you for saving my life and thank you for giving me this opportunity to pursue a dream I never thought was possible. I am proud to be graduating with straight A's with my master's in healthcare administration and now working in dialysis. I am a proud CSU graduate. Hi everybody, congratulations today on graduating from CSU Global. I just quickly wanted to thank my mom and dad, Pat and Debbie King, for all the support over the years. I've been going at this since 2013, one class at a time, while working full time, and they've just been a great source of encouragement. And I wanted to thank my mom and dad specifically. And thanks for paying for my last class, I appreciate it. Love you. Eight years in the making to get my master's degree. Perseverance really paid off. As a single working mom, I needed to prove to myself that I could do it. But I also wanted to show my daughter that everything really is possible. I love my mommy. Oh, I love you too, honey. Because of us, I did it. I graduated. I want to thank my family for their support. Family, I made it. Jerry, Alejandra, thank you so much for your support. Without you guys, we'll no have been possible. Ma, pa, gracias por darme este tiempo. Gracias por entender que su hija necesitaba alcanzar sus goles. Muchas gracias por su paciencia. Los amo. So I would like to thank uh, my family, especially uh, for the support and for everything they did for me throughout this degree. Uh, my mother-in-law for providing the way uh, for me to allow to continue my education. Uh, my three kids for always being there and making life enjoyable, um, especially in times of stress. Um, most of all, uh, I want to thank my wife, Kelly, for everything that she did for me in support and staying up with me late and pushing me to be better and realizing my potential and, and what I could be and what I could become. Um, so again, thank you to everybody. I love you all. Greetings, class of 2020 family and friends, I like to thank my grandmother who this degree is in honor of. Um, I promised her I'd finish and I did. I like to thank my fiance, Hugh Scott. Thank you for encouraging me. I like to thank my kids, Corinne Chandler Stupart. Thank you so much for loving me when I was not lovable and bearing with me. And finally, I like to thank my family for supporting me and giving me the strength to go on. God, without you, this would not be possible. Thank you. I would like to thank my husband, Nicholas Anderson, for motivating me, encouraging me, and pushing me to go back to school. He helped me find the Human Resources Management Master's Program through CSU Global, so I couldn't have done it without him, and I thank him for all of his love and support uh, and for continuing to inspire me and to help me achieve my goals in life, so thank you, sweetheart. I would like to thank my family, in particular my mother, for just supporting me throughout my nonlinear college career. At every single point, you were there for me and just wanted to do what was best for my growth and support that. And as a son, I just cannot thank you enough for that support. And I also want to thank all of my other family members who have been a part of this process, my aunt, my dad, my brother. I love you guys so much. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to my parents and my brothers for always being there for me. Thank you guys so much for the continuous love and support. I love you guys and I'm excited to make you guys proud. I also want to say thank you to CSU Global for having an amazing staff. All my professors and counselors have been so amazing throughout this journey. Thank you guys so much. As I graduate today, I want to say a big thank you to my family, special mention to my sister Alice, brother Tom, my better half Valerie, Zoe, the love of my life. Just want to thank you guys for supporting me, being there for me, and uh, just encouraging me even uh, during the tough times. Zoe, uh, you're the main reason I try to be better every day. Uh, be the best dad, and I hope I um, make you proud. Thank you to everyone. Hope I made you proud. The journey to get where I am today has been a long and rough one, but I finally did it, and with honors at that. I am that strong, beautiful, independent woman that my mother has always gotten me to me. 
Thank you so much, Mom, for your love and support. I would also like to thank all my family and friends, specifically Michael, who helped me to get back into school and accomplish my dreams. I miss you and love you every single day. Thank you to my Aunt Mary Jo, Martha, Shelly, Rachel, Crystal, Gavin, Marco, and lastly, to my boyfriend, Sean, as well as the rest of my family and friends. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate all the love and support that you have given me. I did it. And now, graduates, it is my distinct honor and privilege to formally congratulate you on reaching today's milestone. Regardless if your journey to commencement has taken decades or just a few years, we applaud your dedication. For all of our participants today, wherever you may be around the world, thank you for joining us. I know it means so much to our graduates and myself. You have accomplished much to get to this point. You have mastered your chosen area of education for workplace success while juggling work, family responsibilities, community service, sheltering in place, and homeschooling kids, all while keeping up with your CSU Global Schoolwork. You have managed it all. We know that it has not been an easy journey, and we applaud your tenacity and determination. For all of our participants today, wherever in the world you may be at this moment, I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the ceremony as we celebrate the success of our graduates together. Thank you. Thank you, President Tony, and thank you to all of the graduates who submitted those wonderful thank you videos. To view all of the submitted videos, you can visit the link posted in the chat sometime after the ceremony. We don't want you to miss a minute here. But we would now like to introduce you to our student speaker. She is joining us today from Westminster, Colorado, and she's completed her bachelor's degree in criminal justice and law enforcement administration this year. Congratulations, what an accomplishment. We are thrilled to have her joining us today as our winter 2020 virtual commencement student speaker as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Deirdre Ann Jonker. Tony, my fellow graduates, our families and friends. Thank you all for being here today. I'm so honored to be giving this amazing opportunity to be your student speaker at the ceremony, an event I've been looking forward to for several years. I wanna congratulate everyone today on their achievement, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. I am so proud of everyone for achieving his or her goals. And today mine is receiving my bachelor's degree in criminal justice and law enforcement. We all deserve for our dreams to come true. We've all overcome challenges and earned our degrees. I know that for me, it was a difficult road. I doubted myself, but more than doubt, what I will always remember are my accomplishments. And I will remember that I was able to be here today to share this wonderful moment with you all. Originally, after I graduated high school, I went on to earn several paralegal certificates at another institution. It was one of the hardest challenges I've ever faced. I wasn't giving any guidance and support and a professor even questioned my ability to even finish it. In fact, when I would ask a question about an assignment, the instructor's response was, did you read the textbook? At the time it was difficult, but I can laugh about it now. Thankfully, when I eventually enrolled at CSU Global, the experience was completely different. My professors were encouraging and supportive and are part of why I'm speaking to you to here today. Now I'm ready to start a new chapter in my life. I want to thank past president, Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker, who offered her, her guidance in a student newsletter. I reached out to her and thanks to her encouragement and support, I'm now exploring master's degree programs. If I were to tell my younger self four years ago that I was going to be a college graduate speaking at my commencement ceremony and would be working towards a master's degree, my younger self would not believe it. And, and, but the moment I received my diploma, I proved myself wrong. I did it. That's what I want to share with everyone. We don't know what the future holds, but we do know that we have the determination and tenacity to overcome any challenges that are able that come our way. If we've reached this milestone, we can reach others. My advice to everyone who is about to embark on their degree is just to take it one day at a time. Never tell yourself what you cannot do. 
It is up to us to prove who we are and what we are capable of. We can take on any challenge and learn from both our successes and missteps. It's scary not to know what our future holds. New phases and new challenges in our lives will always be scary. And from my perspective, that's okay. Whether it's a new goal, a new chapter, or a new path, we can accomplish anything we set our minds to. To everyone out there at home, congratulations. We did an amazing job. Thank you all so very much. Thank you, Deirdre. What fantastic words and inspiring to hear your story. We look forward to seeing you back here in a few years to earn that master's degree. As a reminder, if you miss any of today's program, the entire commencement ceremony will be available to view shortly after the broadcast concludes. To receive a notification of when the video and others become available, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button after, under the video. And now I am excited to share a little bit about CSU Global's Alumni Association with you as we welcome you today as the newest members. What you gain from CSU Global doesn't stop after you complete your degree or certificate. You are now part of the CSU Global Alumni Association. Welcome! The CSU Global Alumni Association offers benefits, resources, and programs to more than 18,000 alumni worldwide. You can start taking advantage of those benefits today by joining Global Connect at globalconnect.csuglobal.edu. Through Global Connect, you can easily access all alumni-related resources, including networking, career, and mentoring opportunities. As ever, we are proud to continue to support lifelong learning and workplace success. We look forward to staying connected with you. Also, if you are interested in purchasing a Class of 2020 t-shirt, visit store.csuglobal.edu and enter code 2020grads for free shipping. Congratulations and welcome to the CSU Global Alumni Association. Welcome newest CSU Global Alumni. As an alumni myself, I'm excited to connect with you on all of those platforms. We will now turn our attention to the keynote address of Franny Matthews. Franny is the CEO of Colorado Technology Association. Before joining CTA, she spent 18 years with IBM and served as the IBM Senior Location Executive for Denver, Colorado. In 2018, Governor John Hickenlooper appointed Franny to the Colorado Workforce Development Council. And in 2021, she was named one of the 25 most powerful women in business by the Colorado Women's Chamber of Commerce. She was also awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award for Women in Business by the Denver Business Journal. Please join me in welcoming Franny Matthews. Thank you, Andy. Congratulations to the graduates today. It is an honor to be here and share your day. I know that it hasn't been easy to get here. Out of respect, I'd like to pause and think of all the hard work, the lost sleep, the filling of your days with lectures and assignments and projects and papers. I think of all the other responsibilities that you had while you were working toward this day. It is quite an accomplishment and I honor you. Congratulations. Here we are in 2020 and it is certainly an interesting year. While this year has surfaced some unique challenges, in reality, we have experienced a rate of change over the last few years that we've never seen before. The velocity of this change presents many challenges for us. The basis for much of this acceleration has been technology. Yes, technology has been and will continue to be the great accelerator. With change comes both opportunity and threat. There are jobs today that will no longer exist in the future, and there'll be new jobs that we haven't even invented yet. While this is daunting, it is also very exciting. This new world requires us to look at our careers in a different way. Your hard work and what we are celebrating today has allowed you to take a very important step in future-proofing your career. This new world will require us to be nimble and agile. It will require us to move out of our comfort zones. It will actually require us to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. When I think of the person who will be successful in the coming decades, 
two attributes come to mind. First, being terribly curious. And secondly, relentlessly pursuing a better way. This person will do very well in the future. Everett Harper, a successful entrepreneur and futurist, says it quite well. Move to the edge and declare it your center. This means stretching and growing and reaching to the edge until it feels like you own it and at which time you need to step to the edge again. I've always loved living on the edge, of course, in a very responsible way. I like the excitement of new challenges. Living life this way is rarely boring. Personally, I've made many mistakes in my career. Some make me cringe, but most make me smile. They make me smile because at this point, they're pretty funny. And with each one of those mistakes, I had a great lesson. Many years ago, when I took my first job in technology sales, I really didn't know what I was doing. But what I realized was that there were people around me who could help. My biggest weakness was my lack of knowledge of technology. Early on, I became friends with the technical brains of the operation. His name was Pete. His name is still Pete, and he's a very dear friend today. I began asking questions just here and there. So one day he said, come to my office at 4 p.m. with all of your questions and we'll go through them. That was code for, I'm happy to help, but these interruptions are not very efficient. I set up a routine. I was, I'd save all my questions for the day and show up at his door precisely at 4 p.m. I learned two things very quickly. Number one, the more organized I was, the more I would learn. And secondly, I better not ask the same question twice. Pete expected me to progress and he was going to lose interest if I wasn't as committed to my success as he was. I spent two years at that company and I walked out with a great deal of expertise. Certainly, what I learned in college was a foundation, but I had to be eager to learn more. While I can never replace the friendship that I have with Pete, the expertise that he helped me with is readily available from many sources today. This hyper-connected world gives us lots and lots of opportunity to tap into many sources of expertise. I'm a huge fan of online learning. The platforms provide us the choice of what size bites of information we're going to take. And it opens our worlds to so many possibilities. As we have new experiences and new jobs, we can be explorers. We can course correct. We can let our curiosity be our guideposts. Because of what is of interest to us, what piques our curiosity, is often what we're good at. Because we're excited about it. Because we want to know more. Several years after I left the company where I met Pete, I stepped to the edge again. I competed for and accepted a position as the sales team lead for the telecommunications industry. I was working for a major technology manufacturer at the time. And again, candidly, I had no expertise to be successful. I was not comfortable. I was certainly not competent. This time, my Pete showed up as a customer. I don't recall his real name, but I knew the technology. I didn't understand the telecommunications industry. This Pete suggested that I take a class from a local college entitled Introduction to Telecommunications Management. Brilliant, I thought. I got the information, I signed up, and I began my journey. Rather than taking one class, I finished my master's in telecommunications management. I built another foundation. I became a subject matter expert on the industry. This was a long time ago. The technologies that we talked about then are long gone. And you might think what I learned is in cold storage. That is far from the case. This historical perspective gives me the foundation for understanding what's happening today. I understand how we got universal telephone service in all the homes across the United States. 
I understand the effects of the breakup of AT&T and the Bell System monopolies. I understand what happened when the Telecommunications Act of 1996 came in and the innovation and the competitive environments that we have today as a result. I'm able to form a clear point of view on the deployment of broadband and the implications of 5G wireless networks because of the knowledge that I got from that education in the 90s. So throughout my exploration, I learned that I love studying emerging technologies and their effects on the future. The more I study, the more I want to know. And the more I feel I need to know, this field of study makes me move to the edge. As I said before, it's not always comfortable. About four years ago, I had the opportunity to speak to a large group of college students about the application of artificial intelligence in the area of healthcare. I felt like I was far from an expert. I studied, I compiled information from many sources, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. And when the day arrived, I was prepared. I walked in to that room and I found out that the university chancellor and the dean of the medical school were going to be in attendance. Yes, I freaked out. I took some deep breaths. I reminded myself that I was prepared and I began my presentation. I tried not to look at them, but these two guys were sitting in the front row and they never smiled. And I thought I was bombing. The presentation was over. I began to pick up my things, and the two of them came over, and we launched into a riveting conversation around the future of many professions in the healthcare industry. I, had I not been prepared, had I not been dedicated to gaining expertise, I would have bombed, and I certainly would not have been able to hold my own in that conversation. I hope that you see a theme, continuing lifelong learning, is the cornerstone of rich experiences. It is an essential component of future-proofing your career. I encourage you to continue to make the leaps, take on the challenges, be curious, and be relentlessly committed to your own expertise. You are here because you worked hard and you invested in yourselves. Please continue. It will be the foundation for a very rich and interesting life. I wish you well. And again, congratulations to you on a job well done. Thank you, Franny, for those inspiring words. For most, 2020 has forced us out of our comfort zones, and we've learned that we must be nimble and agile to be successful moving forward. Class of 2020, as Franny Matthews highlighted so well, now is the time to stretch those wings, grow beyond your comfort zone, find your center, and then own it. Thank you, Franny, again for such an inspiring message. Before we get to the conferral of degrees, we want to share this very short message with you from the CSU System Chancellor, Dr. Tony Frank. Tony? On behalf of the entire Colorado State University system, congratulations, graduates. You've accomplished something truly meaningful and important and we're all proud to celebrate with you. Of course, this year's graduation isn't what any of us expected. Perhaps more than any other class in our lifetimes, you graduate into an uncertain world. But even though this year may be particularly memorable, what time isn't uncertain? And when haven't you faced uncertainty and moved ahead? No one models that sort of determination and commitment better than our CSU Global graduates. You took a non-traditional path, the path that was right for you because of your background, experience, and goals. You saw an opportunity that others didn't see, and you took it and held yourself accountable to that commitment and attained your goal. In that knowledge, you can find certainty and direction in any uncertainty that you face. When the path isn't clear, you'll clear your own path and keep moving forward. You are the graduates that our world needs right now. And we could not be more honored than we are today to recognize all that you have achieved. You leave here with a better future ahead, a sense of accomplishment, and our pride in you, as well as our deepest congratulations. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Frank, for that lovely message. And thank you to the entire CSU system for their support of all of our modern learners. Class of 2020, tried and true, true modern learners, you chose to take a non-traditional path and you work through the challenges of juggling work and or families, adapting to a pandemic, and above all, you made it here to today. In all of this uncertainty, your determination and your achievements gives us all hope. Thank you, class of 2020. And I would now like to introduce Governor Jane Robb Rhodes from the Colorado State University System Board of Governors for a few words to confer degrees. On behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, it is an honor to be part of this ceremony and have the opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments as new CSU Global graduates. We are grateful that you have chosen to earn your degree with one of our schools and are thrilled to welcome you as alumni of CSU Global and of the CSU System. And now, on behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby authorize you to confer the recommended degrees upon these candidates. Congratulations. Thank you, Governor Rob Rhodes, and thanks to all of the CSU System Board of Governors for your support as well. We will now proceed to the degree conferrals beginning with our candidates for bachelor's degrees and then continuing on for our candidates for masters. Friends and family, unlike a traditional ceremony when you're asked to hold on to your applause until the very end, we encourage you to cheer loudly wherever you are. And of course, send those messages of congratulations to your graduates using the chat section and of course on social media using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads2020 or if you're in person with them as well. Names will be read in alphabetical order by degree program and a slide with the name and or program will be shown at that time. These slides also include any pictures as well as submitted messages that were part of the registration process. Please note, honors distinctions on the slides are accurate as of November 2020. We will first recognize our bachelor's degree candidates starting with graduates in our bachelor's of science in accounting. Bachelor's degree candidates. Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Sumaya Alam Stribling. Lexi L. Baxter. Amanda Lee Blood. Jackie C. Cal. Zoe Xavier Clare. Marsha Coleman. Taylor A. Coulter. Olivia Cross. Jinky Jane Kubakub. Max A. Dillard. Vladimir Mani Durani. Ryan M. Gastrick. Carl W. Gomez. Lauren Christine Hannock. Jennifer Lynn Hast. Erica Rochelle Hendricks. Matthew Joseph Hitner. Dustin Eno. Caroline Amy Jackson. Tanya Ann Lang. Chai Young Lim. Jessica Erin Mauritius. Sarah B. Piper III. Sabrina Podpora. 
Lauren Ray. Amber Roberts. Elizabeth Laurel Ruggles. Sydney Taylor Seitz. James Michael Benjamin Spearman. Kyle S. Thomas. Stephanie R. Thomas. Paris Michelle Taves. Maria Delords Vanskoy. Gary D. Waddle. Andrea Francine White. Andrew Yates. Crystal Ann Zambard. Bachelor of Science in Applied Social Sciences. Teresa A. Reno. Bachelor of Science in Business Management. Jennifer M. Aiken. Alex J. Appel. Lori Diamond Bishop. Samantha Bradford. Charles Taylor Calhoun. Salvatore Samuel Calhoun. Nathan Clark. Lisa D. Cockrell. Brooklyn Kendall Cosby. Catherine Marie Francis Covert. Jordan R. Crocombe. Jonathan Cuevas Jimenez. Jessica Darlin. Chase Drummond. James Stephen Felix. Alex David Fernandez. Marissa Fry. Pierre M. Gaglion. Jennifer Gathergood. Joshua Samuel Gavini. Andrew W. Ganetta. Courtney R. Harris. To Tai Tan Ho. Amber Alexandria Dunn House. Stan Peter Josovec. Elaine Jean Renault. Tierra Brianne Jordan. Walker Kealoha Lohui Landell. Sharon Galacio Lazaro. Cassidy Glenn Lindsay. Jeffrey Menzel. Ann Morse. T. Nguyen. Nishtha 
Oberai. Emily Lynn O'Brien. Tina M. Outerbridge Moriarty. Marissa Linda Park. Nylon J. Pereira. Lehigh Peterson. Chad Adam Reddy. Shayla C. Sandoval. Daniel Savage. Kyle R. Schmitz. Anastasia Schuler. Sean E. Smith. Cameron Michael Stewart. Braden Ross Taylor. Orman Lee Toko. Tanya Marie Tremolay. Jennifer Weinberger. Justin M. Weinert. Allison Nicole Wolfel. Aaron Margaret Wolcher. Bachelor of Science in Communication. Rebecca Geraldine Benny. Elizabeth V. Chadwick. Tracy L. Dugas. Talia Fuda. Mackenzie Louise Hubbard. Patrick G. King. Amy Lee. Lauren Elizabeth Leleger. Thelma Manua. Ryan Bradley Norris. Kristen Plant. Chloe C. Sklar. Sandra Smith. Cheyenne Snook. Kimberly K. Zeiger. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Austin Richard Borth. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Margaret M.D. Abeda. Talon James Armstrong. Alfred Bascom. Kelsey Carol Bemke. Giorgio Boscolo. Jennifer Burris. Nehemiah D. Camarillo. Dale A. Davis. Brandy M. Drake. Rebecca Pfeiffer Vaughn. 
Guillermo Garcia. Jordan R. Hollins. Brian Lance Johnson. Deirdre Ann Yonker. Kendra Ann Kelly. Caitlin N. King. Christian McKendrick. Nicole M. Miller. Alma E. Sanchez. Derek James Summer. Nicole E. Sullivan. Philip David Thibodeau. Chintrig A. Thompson. Luz E. Vega. Peter Vinitsky. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration and Management. Daisy Acevedo. Taylor Barrett. Kiana N. Boyd. Miranda K. Brunty. Jessica M. Kher. Julia Renee Dalla. Bo Davis. Caitlin Dragon. Rosemary Dragon. Myreed Foley. Francis Marie Folk. Betty Ann Hovey. Makiva Lewis. Heather M. Lufsey. Angela Marie Lytell. Colleen McGarity. Vernon Dwayne Mendinghall. Shania Ann Nordstrom. Allison Marie J. Pasquel. Jacqueline Susan Cruz Ramillo. Cherbonia Montoya Ross Foster. Jessica Lee Rowe. Leo Stankovic. Kelly R. Steele. Christian S. Ward. Shakira M. Whitfield. Wendy B. Wheeland. Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management. Scott David Angel. Nicholas John Anjockey. Kelly Christina Aragon. Madison Jennifer Baird. Cambrin M. Bigwood. Shinda F. 
bikes. Laureen Ann Kinlot Carrion. Lashana L. Cobb. Jacqueline C. Anthony. Denji Kokmar. Laura Elizabeth de Calloway. Frankie A. Gonzalez. Rosa Maria Guzman. David Scott Halsey. Kelly Holden. Tara B. Hughes. Susan Hanania Karadsha. Ami Dawn Killing. Neil S. Larkham. Kara A. Lehman. Luisa Lugo Gonzalez. Nadia Grace Malter. Trisha Renee McMillan. Jacqueline Moritz. April Marie Oswald. Sheila E. Perry. Joanne Peterson. Brittany Poppy. Jessica Elaine Smith. Zachary Stahl. Gabrielle Casey Torgerson. Jeremy Kuichi Valdez. Adam James Van Horn. Evan David Van Horn. Kalia Watts. Emily A. Wheeler. Sheila Christine Zaponti. Bachelor of Science in Human Services. Ashe Amarine. Chelsea Marie Baker. Megan Elizabeth Brooks. Yvonne Desiree Calderon. Leah Cancino. Kinsey Kapok. Kimberly Freeman. Christy Granberg. Maria Zulema Hernandez. Leah Christine Hutchins. Jessica Jenkins. Diana Johnson. Lindsay Michelle Jones. Michaela L. Jones. Lourdes R. Long. Megan Elizabeth Kastner. Kateri A. McCormick. 
Ashley Marie McGilbury. Tia L. Preston. Vanessa A. Ramos. Angeline M. Sattel. Amanda Sivula. Zachary Joseph Tudor Smith. Sadie Marie Snyder. Jenny Stalnaker. Penny Leahy Tavella. Kimberly Danielle Walker. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. More Nike T. Hargun Biad. Nolan R. Anderson. Tariq H. Ansari. Reed Calvo. Marcus Anthony Casasa. Micah M. Clare. Andrew Brent Collins. Felicia Collins. Leticia Cronin. Richard J. Donato. Hunter Freed. Anthony J. Gillespie. Chris N. Glaze. Ismael Gonzalez. Ryan Hessel. William Elias Hoffines. Sean Jubik. Stephen S. Labar. Bradley Keith Lamb. Christy M. Liggett. Edward R. Mason. Jeffrey Joseph Mayers. Travis Mousseau. Michael C. Newworth. Samson Oluwatuyin Omosibi. Timothy Richardson. Jose Enrique Sanchez. Laura A. Scott. Caleb Simmons. Dominique Nicole Smith. Jasmine Sordo. Zachary Thomas Spears. Martin Sutherland. Michael Lawrence Turness Jr. Joshua Tai. Jenna Rose Wilson. John E. Woods. Stacy Yancey. Bob Yang. 
Tedla Yerga. Christopher Wayne York. Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Professional Studies. Jennifer N. Bijan. Jeremy L. Giles. Ralph Hall. Alyssa Christine Sias. Sabrina Dean Stupart. Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems and Business Analytics. Brooks, Britain. Michael H. Craig. Evel DeCoste. John Samuel Brickner Dodson. Matthew L. Dowling. Bradley Ryan Drubay. Kelly R. Hartman. Saida Janae Lee. Kevin M. Linton. George N. Quijada. Adam Saran. Gregory Torjman. Ashley Watkins. Jada Marie Yurek. Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Elizabeth Ann Davidson. Morales Davis. Melanie DeMainu. Anne Marie Franco. Carmelita Maxine Gomez. Jacob Gonsalves. Samuel Robert Holscher. Kayla Johansson. Brianna Canamore. J.C. King. Jessica L. Quanvig. Simone Helene Maduro Fedank. Arthur Joseph McCloskey. Kojoy Ose Babia. Lindsay M. Shipton. Connor L. Shockley. Aubrey Terrer. Amber M. Thompson. Mackenzie Christine Valla. Cody Michael Waters. Keneal K. White. Lisa M. Woods. Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership. Miriam Ruth Abelt. Nicole C. Abeda. 
Mario Amaro. Tyson Todd Anderson. Don A. Clifton. Jamie L. Farmer. Sydney Reese Guerra. Nathaniel Lucas. Latunia Gray Mahadio. Sarah J. Minnick Lujan. Nicole Porti. Angela M. Rasdall. Corey L. Sillerud. Timothy Aaron Stoller. Tisha Strait. Ryan Supis. Caitlin Torberg. Matthew R. Transu. Brandon Ray Treadwell. Kaylee Ann Vickers. Cassandra Lynn Wambach. Bachelor of Science in Project Management. Guillermo A. Arias. Mohamed Geyer. Kaylee Stephanie Gomez. Miles Gregory. Joshua Paul Grubb. Juan Gerardo Guloso. Adrian Hampson. Christian Her. Joshua E. Corte. Maria E. Leon. Maya E. Lewis. Annabelle Lopez. Paul Michael Mangina. Joshua Brent McFall. Denim J. McLuhan. Felicia Moore. Ashley Nalen Murphy. Jasenia S. Murray. Kristen Newman. Jennifer I. Rogers. Megan Marie Thompson. Elisa Villarreal. Lacey Vogeli. Devin Ramsey Reggie. Bachelor of Science in Public Management. Patricia Larkin.
Congratulations to all of our bachelor's degree graduates today. We would also like to recognize these additional students that were either late additions or needed a small correction. Reed Calvo has earned what we believe to be a Golden Key membership for an honor society. Congratulations, Reed. Congratulations to all of our undergraduate students. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. Before we begin reading our graduate candidate names, we would like to now short a short congratulations video with a few of CSU Global's faculty. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and know you will do amazing things in your bright futures. Congratulations to the healthcare graduates. You are the future of our healthcare industry, and our program and our faculty couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. Best wishes in all you do. Hi, Dr. Susan McCready here, Dr. Sue, to many of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm extremely proud of all of you and wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Greetings, graduates. Dr. James Brown, lead faculty, teaching and learning, and internship coordinator for the Principal Licensure Program. Just taking a minute to congratulate you on your grand achievements on this graduation day. Best wishes. It's always so great to hear from our faculty who helped all of our graduates make it here today. Thank you faculty for your dedicated support and service for our faculty. And please can continue to congratulate our graduates on social media and in the chats. I know many of you are listening today. Thank you again for providing those um, words of wisdom for our graduating class. And now I'm excited to welcome in Simone Madur, Lucy Vega, and Mackenzie Valla for our next uh, live student live look-in. So welcome. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Thank glad you. you guys can be here today. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And congrats to everybody. Wonderful. Well, let's quickly go around and just could you tell me what degree you're graduating with and um, where you're watching from today? Why don't you start, Lucy? I am watching from El Paso, Texas, and I am um, getting a bachelor's in criminal justice and law enforcement management. Congratulations. Simone? I'm watching from the Republic of Panama, and I got a degree in marketing. Wonderful. And Mackenzie? I'm watching from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and I got a bachelor's degree in marketing. How great. And so fun to have so many people from so far away kind of getting together in a room like this. So that's exciting. Um, so I want to quickly just find what, what made you uh, earn your degree with us. Mackenzie? Um, so I decided um, to go to CSU Global because I was moving around a lot and it just made a lot of sense to go to an online college. And yeah, so that's why. <laughs> that's great. What about you, Simone? Well, I did a lot of research online and found that CSU Global was the, at the time number one marketing school online. It had a great platform. And the staff, when I called and did research, was just so amazing and so supportive. I want to give a shout out to Jenny Brueger. Thank you so much. She was my, uh, she was my um, advisor. That's great. She was that just wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. Well, they definitely work because they got you here today. So that's, that's them doing a great job. So, um, Lucy, I want you to kind of share a proud moment or maybe even a challenge you had during earning your degree and um, that you'd like to share with the rest of our graduates. Oh, I had many of them, but um, the main one for me was I'm a, a new mommy of a little boy who I adore. Congratulations. And, uh, it, was, it was quite a challenge to do all those late night feedings and bottle feedings. Um, it was quite a challenge, but with the support and love of my family and friends, I got it done. You made it. That's great. Uh, Mackenzie, what are you proud of during your degree? Um, for me, I was pretty proud to get an invitation to join the Golden Key International Honor Society. Congratulations. That's a lot of hard work. So, yeah, that'll be great networking in the future as well. And Simone, what about you? Um, definitely getting um, invited to, uh, to honor societies and, and 
Uh, learning how to write, I think the best part of being in CSU Global is there is a lot of writing. And even though that scared me in the beginning, it made me a proficient writer. In the end, I feel very strong and confident and powerful now with my writing skills. So that that's very proud that's of me. That's great. Well, and, and huge skills to use throughout your career. So that's my next question. What's next for all of you? Anyone can chime in. Um, I originally joined marketing to work with nonprofits and um, through my career, my degree, I learned that I wanted to do something for myself. And so now I'm starting a new program called a Mindful Nenes here in Panama to teach children uh, mindfulness. And so even though that's not directly marketed, I have to market myself, right? So yes, it really helps me with that. And uh, I'm really excited about my new program. I'm sure new it'll project. be great. That's awesome. Uh, Lucy, how about you? Uh, next for me is to put that degree to work and get to work, actually. I'm actually going to consider going into the field of forensics. And right now, I work as a linguist, so I actually want to become an analytical linguist and maybe um, an intelligence analyst for a government agency. Wow, that's cool. We won't name which one because we don't want to get you in trouble with that. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and how about you, Mackenzie? Um, I guess next is just get into the marketing field. I have an associate's degree in agriculture, and so I'm hoping to get into marketing for rodeos and, you know, just the agriculture world. Definitely opportunities for that in, in Colorado, or you can go visit Lucy in Texas as well and get some of that. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> and before I let you guys go, thank you so much for being here, but is there anyone that you'd like to thank for helping you get along the way? Mackenzie, why don't you start? Um, I'd like to thank my family and I'd like to thank my fiance. They've definitely helped me get through all of this. It's been a long road, but I'm happy I finally made it. That's great. And congratulations on an upcoming wedding. Hopefully you're able to do it at a time that can get everyone together. <laughs> Lucy, how about you? I would definitely like to thank my loving husband for his support, for all the help. Uh, I, as I mentioned, we just had our first little boy, and he was a lot of a, a lot of help. He picked up a lot of extra diaper duty, bottle feedings, a lot of extra work, and definitely my mom. She's always been supportive and loving. So thank you guys. Love you guys. Well, I think you're on extra uh, diaper duty for a while now. You got to pay him back a little bit, right? Yes. Now, <laughs> gonna pay back. now I I can help out. Great, great, great. You got one thing off your plate. And Simone, last but not least, who would you like to thank? I'd really like to thank my friend Shayna, who is unbelievably supportive and patient with me and helped me through really the whole time. Uh, my friend Candace, that always lent me a helping ear when I needed it and always supported me as well. And my wonderful friend Michelle, who I swear without her, I wouldn't have been here today because she was so supportive emotionally the whole time. So thank you. I love you guys, all my friends. Thank you so much. Well, that's just great, you know, and thank you to all of your family and friends. And thank you guys so much for being here. Congratulations once again. So great to have you part of our ceremony and, and good luck in, in your future endeavors. We look forward to hearing about all your successes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks. Enjoy the ceremony. Okay, so, so that, I just love those. So um, I, I want to hear more about those alumni stories. So please fill those in the chat. Tell us what you're doing. We look forward to hearing more about all of the great successes that our alumni will have. But don't forget to also join the conversation and congratulate the graduates or each other on social media using the hashtag CSU Global Grads and at mention CSU Global. We especially encourage you to share pictures of who, where you are, who you're viewing with, because we want to see and be part of that experience with you. And we have students from all over the US and globally, as we just saw, joining us today. We will now recognize our master's degree candidates. As with our undergraduate students, names will be read in alphabetical and by program. And please celebrate our graduates in the comments and on social media, as well as if you're there in person, cheer loudly. We will start with our graduates for our master's degree in criminal justice. Master's degree candidates. Master's Degree in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Albert Feliciano. Mario Luis Heinemann. Brian Michael McGeehan. 
Rachel F. Wells Hoyt. Stephen Eric Yoxheimer. Malina Cabal Shang. Master's degree in finance. Matthew Adedoyan Agantade. Shelley Anthony. Harrison Barstad. Drew Bishop. Austin D. Burt. David A. Couch. Nikia George. Antone Good. Sugar Hardy. Aaron R. Hernandez. Nicholas Jensen. Ashley Brooke LaBelle. Jasmine Lara Ichi. Michael T. Lloyd. Jennifer Laux. Cyril Macklin. Kathleen Allison Martin. Blake J. Michaels. Eldon L. Mock. Shannon K. Relic. Matthew A. Sanchez. Althea Marie Torres. Mariah A. Wiley. Edward L. Wong. Douglas Zuniga. Master's degree in healthcare administration. Dan O. Asiwi. Brittany Tuliva Batts. Christy Nicole Boland. Alice M. Campbell. Aubrey Lee Campbell. Giuseppe Capone. Octavia Cecilia Charles. Cynthia Ciccatelli Farrell. Savannah Lene Klaus. Andrea D. Davis. William T. Denner. Summer Tenorio Del Mundo. Millicent M. Dea. Emmanuel O. Adamwande. Anne Marie Fitzpatrick. Madeline Gail Frawley. Jacqueline Rose Gillen. Tiana J. Green. Tamara Danielle Groth. 
Eileen Estella Gutierrez. Christine Hansen. James Herman. Morgan Lynn Hockley. Deepam Ishwar. Camilla Devere Jackson. Heather Jorgensen. Baljeet Kaur. Allison A. Kelso. Brian A. Kerbs. Bushra Khan. Heather Kobe. Ronnie Lynn Law. Austin C. Lewis. Daisy Martinez. Teresa Ann Mayer. Catherine Whitney McGee. Georgette Miller. Sonia S. Moon. Neil Nado. Lexis Celeste Naido. Alexa J. Nogales. Nicole Catherine Oliveira. Sarah E. Oster. Corinna Beth Perez Cruz. Lauren Elizabeth Payton. Janice Chin. Amanda Recker. Bethany Riggs. John I. Riley. Eric Jesus Rodriguez. Ashley N. Rohr. Ashley Rondon. Morgan Ann Rao. Kim Sean Rye. Mariana Z. Sika. Brianna D. Smith. Tammy May Smith. Robert S. Stackhouse. John Michael Stavrinakis. Teresa A. A. Summons. Kimberly A. Taylor. Linda Kathleen Pravat Thomas. Adam Vang Erickson. Nicholas Donald Victorino. Ariel N. Whitley. Deepika Zephyr. Master's Degree in Human Resource Management. Hadhasa Aguayo Garcia. Kathleen A. Aguilar. 
Lara Maria Anderson. Malfada Andino. Keila T. Bailey. Adrian Marie Brown. Kimberly Ann Bucaccio. Mackenzie Ann Carroll. John Ryan Curry. Karima L. D'Ambrosia. Jacqueline L. Dersham. Sarah Jean Dollar. Rachel Giles. Stephanie Glisson. Landon R. Harrison. Chantel T. Hildred. Asila Oriana Hoffert. Erica Leon Juarez. Charlie MMK Keanohi. Lisa M. Klein. Deanna Lynn Larry. Ida Y. Santiago. Jasmine M. Payne. Sharice M. Phillips. Jennifer Susan Shook. Anna Richmond. Alexis N. Ross. Woodrow Roll. Jennifer Salmons. Ari D. Sislovich. Marie Renee Silvi. Floyd G. Sodiu. Cindy Sukdio. Aaron Michelle Toulson. Francis M. Warren. Shayna Worley. Master's Degree in Information Technology Management. Samir Abdin Abdel Rahim. Sharice K.K. Aoki. Anthony Darnell Brown. Tiffany Luis Bryant. Colton Claudick. Heather Cromwell. Jonah S. Farkas. Joseph W. Gores. Cornelio Umali. Master's degree in international management. Megan Alexandra Larson. Tammy Threat. Master's degree in professional accounting. Sarah Joe Onstead. 
Janelle A. Arce. Cheryl Lynn Moore Bernard. Jacqueline Marie Chittick. Catherine Leanne Doran. Karis Isabel Evans. Melanie W. Gann. Jordan Emily Giannato. Elizabeth Hecker. Andrew Jensen. Sequoia E. Lake. Shelby Nigel Lewis. Marion Hope Livermore. Hayusik Grace Men. Robert Muse. Preethi J. Nair. Catherine Ann Naley. Arwin Nelson. Jacqueline North. M. D. M. Raman. John Edward Stevens. Nicholas Brendan Trostel. Ihioma O. Ukoa. Dion Nicole Wesley. Master's Degree in Project Management. Mark S. Adams. Rachel Ann Alquist. Tim R. Bernard. Kyle Click. Tracy Linwood Kahn. Richard O. Crichton. James Francis Cruzy. Ala Malone. Patrick J. McNamara. Megan D. Mobley. Brianna Marie Quinahan. Kimberly Rogers. Camille N. Ross. John J. Snooks. Brennan Michael Stevenson. Brad Stocker. Masters of Science in Data Analytics. Swati Aurora. Disalu Mulubidu. Chill Cross. Lane C. Fuel. Dina Hakeem Johnson. Philene McQuella. Kemraj Nand Kumar. Raymond Benyella Jaffa. 
Kimberly Fairchild Patterson. Carl Jude Gomez Rojas. Mark Aaron Sansgard. Eli Benjamin Skeens. Taryn Amber Sirovic. Kimberly Ann Van Lar. Juan L. Villarreal Salazar. Masters of Science in Management. Ashley N. Campbell. Scott Delanoy. Laura Ann Johnson. Catalina Luofasa Duncan. Jamison Bernard LeBlanc. Stephen K. Long. Jennifer Sue Nix. Brandy Trice. Sarah May Woods. Angel M. Young. Masters of Science in Organizational Leadership. Ifasa Iwaria. Kristen Albaugh. Trendy Michelle Awen. Mandy K. Rector. Dawn Maria Benavides. Erica W. Branzi. Megan Buck. Jennifer Christensen. Stacy Christensen. Karen Joy Noel Coldwell. Heather Lynn Cooper Nauman. Jennifer Marie Cormier. Michael F. Craig. Sharita Yvette Ford. Jamie Brooke Gerhardt. Brittany Moreau Harper. Elizabeth Yvonne Harris. Jessica Dawn Hartman. Bonnie Joe Hebert. Courtney Taylor Hogan. Ashley Joe Iron. Shayna Kefalis. Adrienne M. Kelly. Karen Kennedy. Shannon Marissa Kitchen. Leticia Kubanza. Stacy Lawrence. Amy Lynn Merrimag. Scott Christopher Mounty. Jeanette McCormick. 
Tamira L. Mitchell. Karen Anai Moreno. Jessica Alice Nelson. Daniela Rivera Diaz. Jolie M. Ross. Michael Leonard Schlaufer. Itzel Seidel. Ashley Scholes. Miranda M. Schultz. Delphine E. Smith. Timothy A. Starnes. Melissa Torres Cardona. Robin Treister. Sarah J. Trujillo. Shalun N. Vazquez. Chanel LaCole Watts. Victoria A. Wheeler. Masters of Science in Teaching and Learning. Kimberly N. Adibua. Casey D. Anderson. Claudia Bellin Apodaca. Demi N. Ariano. Joanna Ong Avilas Jahari. Gina M. Bodenhausen. Benjamin C. Butler. Jamie Marguerite Kramer. Pamela J. Eastwood. Michael A. Harris. Luke Joseph Lane. Andrea Oliver. Tara Beth Smith.
Congratulations to all of our master's degree candidates today. Thank you for your patience at the end there while we checked a few names. And we would also now like to recognize some additional students that were either late additions or needed corrections. Landon Harrison is a member of Sigma Beta, Beta Delta. Anna Richmond is a Golden Key member. And Gloria Kisaki is a member of, I, is, has earned her degree in Masters of IT Management. We apologize for leaving off your slide. Congratulations, class of 2020. Wherever you're joining us from today, your accomplishments are truly commendable, and all of us here at CSU Global celebrate your wonderful achievements with you. I'm now going to turn it over one more time to CSU Global's new president, Pamela Tony, for the official conferring of the degrees. For those of you who have successfully completed your programs, by the authority vested in me by the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon each of you the recommended degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Thank you, Pam. And congratulations to all graduates once again. It has been my privilege to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today. Don't forget to use the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads2020 on social media and at mention CSU Global. You can also visit csuglobal.edu slash commencement to rewatch today's broadcast. Congratulations once again, class of 2020. Have a safe and happy holidays and rest of your day.